I'm Dr. Jeff Finnecker, and today we'll explore the interaction of Earth's spheres. <laughs> Earth's spheres are the four subsystems that cover the surface of the planet. They're called spheres because they're round, just like the Earth. Precisely, and we already learned that the geosphere contains the solid rock and other material all the way to the Earth's core. From geo, meaning Earth. Next is the hydrosphere. That's the oceans, rivers, lakes, and all the water on Earth. Oh, I see. Hydro means water, like in hydroelectricity. Can you guess what's next? I know, it's gotta be the air. Yep, it's the atmosphere, all the gases surrounding the Earth. That's atmos, meaning air. Last but not least is the biosphere, made up of all the living things on Earth, like fish, birds, plants, even people. From bio, which means life, that's all four spheres. I get how the spheres layer on top of each other, but what do you mean they interact? The spheres don't just fit together, they're constantly changing each other. Let's look at some examples of interactions between spheres. Hey kids, you want to watch this whole episode and more? Tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all science topics in grades 3 to 5, and you get to watch it in class. But only if you tell your teacher.